Hello, Marcus here with Adult Review. I'm going to talk about the new Nintendo 3DS. I actually uh, picked this up for my son, and uh, he hasn't had a chance to play it yet because uh, I haven't been willing to let it go. I've had that much fun with it. I normally uh, don't care for handheld units very much when I have a, a computer and um, PS3 and 360. Uh, to play with, but I actually uh, have really enjoyed this. I've played it every single night for at least an hour before going to bed, and I take it to work with me, and uh, whenever I get a free moment there, I'm playing on it. Um, it's a really, really nice unit, so I'm going to start talking about the uh, nice new features. not going to go too much into it. Um, this is just to give those of you out there, uh, uh, adults preferably contemplating whether or not purchasing a uh, um, a game unit for yourself. Uh, I highly recommend this one. I've been uh, promoting it heavily to all my friends. Uh, so to start with, obviously the uh, new uh, larger screen, top screen, for those that have seen the uh, DS and the DSi, um, this is the normal screen size for those units. Uh, as you can see, they're a little bigger here. In fact, whenever you uh, do the um, download play uh, and you sync up with another DSi, um, the green, or you play the DSi games, um, which this unit is backwards compatible. Um, the screen does shrink down. It puts black bars over the um, uh, sides here to match the same uh, screen aspect. So um, uh, another nice feature added is the uh, analog uh, controller here. Can't wait to play some uh, first-person shoot-'ems or other driving games uh, and utilize that. That's a very, uh, very nice feature. Uh, they obviously have the uh, me sort of feature that you know you see with the Wii, uh, where you create little uh, avatars. And um, uh, with the wireless capabilities here, uh, you're supposed to be able to transfer your little uh, me's to and from roaming uh, other uh, consoles that you may walk into on the street if you have your uh, settings uh, permission set up to let your uh, me's travel to other. Uh, handheld devices and vice versa, except Mies from other um, uh, other units. All thanks to this new uh, Street Pass here that um, that this uh, 3DS has. Uh, another nice feature uh, that they haven't actually opened up yet, but um, I'm waiting for is the East, like a e-store where you can download classic games. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing. Super Mario Brothers, the old classic NES Super Mario Brothers in 3D. Um, I'm hoping that it's rendered for 3D and playing them on this unit. Um, uh, some of the other games like Street Fighter, it's really cool to sit in your living room and play on this handheld unit with somebody who's in another country. I played and matched up with a couple Chinese um, and some uh, Koreans. Um, and it's uh, just a real nice uh, feature to, to not always have to play against the computer, but then, um, you know, on a handheld unit like this, be able to play uh, online. Much like the uh, 360 and, and the gamer tags and, and uh, things like that, th these units also do have that. There's like a 12-digit or so um, license plate that's assigned to this unit that you give that number to your friends. Uh, they can go in and add you as a friend, and, and if you're online with them, uh, you can... Uh, see that your friend is online and you can play um, over Wi-Fi. Um, the feature, al the unit also has a nice uh, sort of promoting, you know, getting out and still remaining active. If you put the unit in sleep mode simply by closing the door, um, uh, it's still on. It's still uh, trying to communicate to other uh, 3DS units out there. There's a step counter in here, so uh, let's see. I should have added a couple steps. Um, yep, seven, so I've taken 17 steps. I know the, the uh, camera, you can't see it, but there's like a step counter up here. That's supposed to allow you to, uh, uh, you know, you get so many steps a day, and it gives you so many coins a day, and you can use those coins to buy in-game content um, and all sorts of other little things like that. So it's a neat little feature. You know, I don't know how valuable it's going to be. Um, another cool rumor I've heard about the unit is that maybe it's going to uh, stream Netflix. And that would be really nice. Uh, pair it up um, to a hotspot on your cell phone or something, get some 3G, 4G service, and be able to uh, stream Netflix to it while you're waiting in the doctor's office. Sounds like a, it's going to be a really cool feature. Um, the internet browser, again, um, 
not activated yet. There's a message here that says the internet browser will be enabled later through a system update. Um, I update frequently throughout the day, just waiting for that to happen. Uh, I don't know when it's going to happen, but um, yet to have it happen. So um, the unit, like I said, again, I purchased this for my son, and I've yet to give it to him. I don't know if I am going to give it to him. Um, I'm, I'm hoping that they're going to come out with a larger one like the XL, and then I'll give him this, and I'll take that one. But uh, I'm having a lot of fun with this unit. I've never had so much fun with a handheld device. So for all you adults out there um, uh, thinking about getting a uh, little handheld unit for yourself, um, I highly recommend this. It does a lot of neat, uh, cool little things. Um, the uh, I forgot about the cameras. You know, it does have a uh, front front-facing camera and two um, rear cam uh, uh, forward-facing cameras. And these cameras uh, do take 3D pictures. So went out to a car show the other day and uh, took some pretty cool 3D pictures of some uh, some vehicles out there. Uh, I will say there's one little uh, pet peeve I have. These, uh, the two trigger fingers activate the 3D camera, and I find myself hitting them all the time. I wish I could just turn it off so that it didn't activate. I'd be getting it out of my pocket, and then bam, it's already going into uh, camera taking mode. Um, another little thing is, is that it doesn't seem to multitask very well, so if like, you're in the middle of a game and you exit out to the home, uh, you literally have to close out the application in order to do anything else. I'll demonstrate that for you here. Um, and I'll look at some of the photos that I'd had. Um, obviously, you know, this doesn't do anything for you because you can't see in 3D. And um, I have the 3D turned off here on this slider. But um, it was, uh, it's pretty cool. And I found myself uh, having people specifically take uh, uh, pictures that, you know, with their hands out and everything. And it's just, it's just a really cool effect to see it in 3D. The 3D is actually very good. Adds a lot of depth, not too much eye popping out into you in your face, but um, definitely adds depth to all the games and everything, and it's really nice. So, uh, like I said, as you uh, exit out of a game, um, you can hit the home key, and basically it puts it in a suspended mode, and um, you can either return to it, or you can uh, close the application, because you can't begin another application while this one is still open. So, a warning will come up saying, are you sure, would you like to close this application? All unsaved data will be lost, blah, yada, yada, yada. So anyway, and then you're back to the uh, home screen, which is almost kind of like the, uh, you know, like the Wii, where I have it set up in a 3x5 uh, format here. You can have them, uh, the icons a little smaller if you want. Just by hitting, I think it's this button right here. As they get smaller and smaller. And so thus you'll be able to add more content here uh, to your home page, if you will. And bring it all back out. And uh, there's some 3D movies and everything that you're going to be able to download. Um, so I'm, I'm really looking forward. The potential for this unit seems to be there, and um, I'm having a lot of fun with it. And I'm going to start reviewing some of the games. I have purchased just about every game available for uh, release. I think a couple games might have come out today. Um, so make sure you check those out. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye.